Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and in this one we will be displaying random shapes that we create okay um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about uh, let's get right into the tutorial so what I'm what I want to do is I want to create um, a few shapes and then have them randomly display on the screen all right so I'm gonna to go to my star tool here we just need to create our shapes uh, so I'm gonna create a star okay and I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to go over to my um, palette editor here so I can easily choose a color. So I think I'm going to choose the purple for this one and create that circle. Click on that layer and just position it in the same location here. And I think I'm going to create a square. Wait, let me undo that gonna create a square but let me choose a color like maybe a green and then create that shape there like so all right and so let me move this down to here all right so what we want to do is place all of these in a folder but before that I'm just going to rename them I'm gonna call this ball a circle and I'm going to call it well this one already has the name star but I'm just gonna remove the number value of it and do the same here just call this rectangle all right and then so we want to place all of these in a folder so select all of them and click on the folder icon to place them in a folder all right so the next step is we want to go to the properties of the folder and where it says z range we want to tick Yo, this area right here okay so what this does it um lets our folder act as a switch group Right, so if we and, and I already have tutorials on this, but I'll just go over it here. If you want to change between each of these shapes, you just type in the Z depth value of the particular layer. Okay, so let me go back to the group and let's say I wanted the star. All I would need to do is just to type the value two and it would, it would switch to the star. If I wanted the circle, I just type the value one and it would switch to that one, so on and so forth. Okay, so let me put this back to zero. And then, so what we want to do is we want these to be displayed randomly on the screen, right? As I said earlier. Um, so the first step to, to that is to right click the Z range position and we want to convert this to a solid value, okay? Which is an integer. So I just clicked on integer and I'm gonna open up here. And the integer converter gives us one property, which is the link. So this essentially performs the same action as what we did before. So if I type in two, it switches um, to that one within the group. Okay, so it does this pretty much the same thing. So let me switch it back to zero. So what I want to do is to add the random generator to this one. So right click, convert, and click on a random. What that will do is generate random values to switch out the shapes. But the issue with this is that we can, we don't really have any control over the range of the values, right? So as you can see here, it goes to negative one and we don't have a shape at Z depth negative one, right? So it, it's pretty much going all over the place, um, switching out between multiple random values. So let's get a bit more control over that, shall we? So inside of um, the link here, which we converted, random random gives us all of these properties here so what we want to do is go to the second link here and right click convert and click on range all right so if we open that up now range gives us three different properties which is min max and link right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the minimum value to one and what this is supposed to do is it allows um, it allows the value to only go one step below the minimum value, right? So as you can see here, we have, um, we start at zero. So if we put this at one, it will only go to zero and it can't go to like negative one, negative two. So it will stop directly at zero, all right? But if we play this as it is now, notice it's only displaying two shapes, right? So it's displaying, well, it's displaying three shapes but it takes a while to display each of them, right? So you can leave it here, or you can get a bit more control over this. Let's set a maximum value of, let's say two. 
okay and leave everything else as they are and if we should play now all right we pretty much get the same thing and let's speed this up to maybe two so the, the speed actually speeds up the rate at which they change right And there we have our random shapes being displayed. All right now, I, I find that this works best if you have three different um, shapes. But uh, if you if you add more and more and more, you'll have to uh, mess with the minimum and the maximum value to to get the result that you want. And this is a, a really cool way to. I mean, I don't know what use you would have for it right but i'm sure you can find some purpose to display random shapes or uh, this can be used with maybe you have multiple characters you could switch them out randomly it can be used with pretty much anything okay so that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo. Yo.